What's up, you guys? I'm back today with another video. Skinny girls wake, the models don't compare. Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs. Woo, got me hotter than a sauna. Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama. Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance. Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants. So, you guys, today I'm about to show you my updated recipe for my crab stuffed salmon. But before we get into that recipe, you guys, of course, this video today is sponsored by the coldest water bottle. Okay, you guys, I love this water bottle. It's BPA free. Um, it'll keep your drinks cold for like up to 36 hours, especially out here in this hot Florida sun. I've left my bottle in the car overnight came back the next practically afternoon and my ice was still in my bottle it's super dope when you order for them they ship um out your order the same day which is really dope these bottles float in water so if you're like at the beach the pool you can take these with you no fuss and i really love these um of course i have a coupon code use my coupon code mfl and get money off of your bottle these are really dope they've been named the number one water bottle for like the last five years even this year 2020 they were named the best number one water bottle and these are freaking dope like they're really nice you could even get one with your name customized on it and they're so dope so you guys um the link will be in the description box below get your coldest water bottle they're so dope okay so now let's get into this over the top crab stuffed salmon recipe if you want to see how i put this together stay tuned okay you guys so this is a super simple easy yet decadent over the top recipe this is what you're going to be using to make your craft stove salmon. Right here, I have some, um, the bell peppers already chopped up and cleaned up. Some red, green, and yellow bell peppers. Right here, I have, um, some sweet cream, salted butter, some scallions, green onions, some Ritz crackers. You can, of course, use whatever, you know, you can use regular Ritz crackers if you'd like. I have a nice big pretty salmon look at how nice and pretty this salmon is you guys look at that and i get the one with the skin on it i just feel like when you keep the skin on the underside it helps it stay together better for this recipe you can of course take the skin off if that's your preference but i'm gonna keep this on um i have some lump crab meat right here this is a pound of lump crab meat um you can find lump crab meat anywhere any fish market if you have a kroger shop right um walmart now has it i know when i do my grocery delivery walmart has crab meat for pickup um any supermarket that has like a fishmonger in it that where you can buy fresh fish you should be able to buy crab meat okay so i have a pound of crab meat right here some adobo this is down to the bottom y'all it's almost done some tony saturies some a block of cream cheese some pepper a packet of sazon two lemons we're gonna need a little bit of shredded kobe jack cheese and you guys you're gonna need some minced garlic i totally forgot what kind of recipe would this be without some garlic honey you're, we're going to use um, a little bit of minced garlic in the crab stuffing mi mixture. So, I had to make sure I came back and show you guys. And that's what we're going to be using. Okay. Okay, you guys. So, let's start to put together this crab filling. We have our brick of cream cheese right here. It's totally softened, as you can see. See? We're going to go ahead and put it in the bowl. Okay, so our softened cream cheese is in. Next, we're going to add some of the um, bell pepper mix. It's going to be equivalent to about a third of um, a green, red, and yellow bell pepper. Okay. 
Okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some green onion. We're gonna chop up about, i say three stalks. That's two, that's three, but this one is like a little under. So I'd say like two and a half stalks of green onion. Let's see? But you see this one's a little less than that one. All right. Go ahead and slice that up. Wait, let me rinse this off real quick. I had to rinse that off real quick, you guys. So. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this to the bowl. See? I'm sorry you guys, this bowl, like, it's, it's high. So, I'm trying to let you guys see it. So that was the green onion. Now let's add um, some of the crab meat. Well, the crab meat. So here is our crab meat. We're gonna add the crab meat in. This is still a little frozen in the middle, but it's all good. There you go. So that's all of our crab meat. So since this is a little frozen, I'm just going to break this up some. I've been took it out, but you know, it's like the very center is a little frozen. So let's break this up. Ooh, look at all that crab meat, y'all. Y'all see all that? Ooh, this smells good. Okay, so look at all this lemon zest, y'all. Y'all see all this nice, pretty, fresh lemon zest? This is going to be about, I'd say a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon zest. Look at that.
This nor one is people that's looking for ones with no MSG. These nor ones don't have MSG. So this is looking good. You see how as I spread the um, spatula on top, it like it goes flat. That's the kind of consistency you want. You don't want it like I don't want a lot of filler, but I want it to be able to like just come together. So you see how if I press it, it forms, but it's still like crumbly. 
that's the um, consistency you want so let's go ahead and start working on the salmon so you guys we have our nice big huge pretty salmon right here this package um, this amount right here will make quite a few servings because we put so much um, I put so much of the crab meat top on the crab meat um, filling on top that like this part right here is a serving like that's one two three four five six seven eight right there nine and this right here the 11 servings in this one piece of fish um these are i'm using foil pans to cook these this is a long piece of fish so i'm gonna cut this in half so I'm just going to score it, I'd say like right here. And um, let's go ahead and season it. Uh, this, this time I'm going to put the filling on top. If you have a thicker piece of salmon, you can slice it through the middle and then stuff it with the filling. But when it's, when my salmon is not as thick, it's a nice piece of salmon, but it's not super thick. What I like to do is, Right here along this white vein, I just like to put a nice little slit, see? And then I just push it over a little bit and then we're just going to place the filling inside of there. I'm just gonna do that before I seasoned it. I've already washed off this salmon in some nice ice cold water. You see this little crevice I'm making here? We're just gonna lay the salmon, um, the mixture, the filling in there, so. That's what we're doing. Now the butter, I went ahead and melted down two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to rub one tablespoon on top and then I'm gonna save one tablespoon to like drizzle on top um, of everything once I fill it. So here is the one tablespoon. It's just a nice drizzle. And this is what the um, seasoning is going to adhere to. I've already went and washed my hands, of course. I'm just rubbing that melted butter all over. Turn it around, because we do eat the skin here. Ooh, there's a little lemon zest on there. Turn it around. Um, and yes, I'm using the same kind of board that I just um, cut the lemon and scallions on. I have a million cutting boards, but these, this is for us. I'm not making this for an event or for work. I'm making this for us and it's fine. Okay, so that was our butter. Next, I'm going to top this with some Tony's. Not too heavy because the, um, you know, the filling is very flavorful and seasoned. But we're definitely gonna season that skin side as well. We like the skin. If you don't, you know, just flavor both sides of your filet. So that looks good. Maybe a little, a little more. And then some, a little tiny bit of adobo. See, I'm going very lightly. Bless me. Thank you. I turned my head, y'all. Who else? Every time you uh, use some Tonys, it makes you sneeze. Jeez. Okay, so that's good. I don't want to go too heavy with the seasoning. So this is the halfway point. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this in half. And then make two pans. Because I don't want to crowd my pan, you know? So there's two nice fillets. It doesn't look like a lot of salmon, but y'all, this makes so many portions because there's so much filling on top. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit, get these into um, a couple of pans, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you guys can see a little bit better. As you can see, I didn't go super heavy on the seasoning, but you can definitely see the seasoning is there. And I'm glad that I decided to cut it in half because look, these are two 9 by 13 pans and half of each fit perfect in here. So there's no way I would have been able to even fit the whole um, salmon in here.
Okay, so I have both um, covered with the crab meat. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle the other tablespoon of... Um Do you even see, can y'all even see how thick this crab meat is on top? Look at this one. You guys, you see this? The crab meat on top is thicker than the salmon itself. So you guys, we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for I'd say about 25 minutes uncovered label. So you guys, I just took the salmon out the oven. Oh my gosh, look at how good that looks. Oh, it's amazing. This one, I put so much crab crab meat on top of it, it done lean to the side. But oh, look at that. Perfect. You see how nice and juicy that is? Perfect salmon. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Now yeah, look at this damn salmon. Look at all this crab meat. guys that was my craft stuff salmon recipe i hope you guys try it out when you do tag me on snapchat instagram me email me do whatever you need to do so i see your version of my recipe i love when you guys do that i always repost them on my instagram um don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to do you boo bye guys don't slip up or get cut Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one